If the price of a book is first decreased by 25% and then increased by 20%, then the net change in price will be. Firstly, let us consider the price of the book as P equals to 100 rupees so that it is easier for us to deal with percentages. So this price is decreased by 25%. So I'll decrease 100 by its 25%. So the new price after decreasing by 25% is equal to 100 minus 25% of 100. So it's basically 100 minus 25 that is 75 rupees. So 75 rupees are then increased by 20%. So the next price increased price will be P2 is equal to 75 plus 20% 20 of 75. So 20 upon 100 times 75. So 25 times 3 is 75, 25 times 4 is 100 and 4 times 5 is 20 and 5 times 3 is 15. So this is basically 75 plus 15 and that is equals to 90. So we took the base price as 100 and after decreasing and increasing the price we get the final price P2 as 90. So what is the difference? Well there is a decrease in the price. And that decrease is a 10% decrease. From 100, the price has gone down to 90. So there is a 10% decrease. And that's our answer. The price of a shirt is increased by 15% and then reduced by 15%. What is the final price of the shirt? Well, at first glance, it seems that the price of the shirt will not change. But that's not the correct answer. Let's see what is the correct answer. So firstly, let us consider the price of this shirt be 100 rupees. So P is equals to 100. Now we are increasing the price by 15%. So P1 will be equal to 100 plus 15% of 100. That means 100 plus 15. So the new price will be 115 rupees, 115 rupees. And then this price is reduced by 15%. Which price is reduced by 15%? Well, the increased price is reduced, not the base price. So P1 is reduced by 15%. So P2 will be equals to 115 minus 15% of P1. So 15 upon 100 times P1 is 115. So 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 20 is 100. Now again, dividing this by 5, we get 5 times 4 is 20 and 5 times 23 is 115. So we have this as equal to 115 minus 69 by 4. And if you solve this, you will get 97.75. So the new price, the final price is 97.75. Well, it has been decreased from the base price which was taken as 100. And what is the decrease? Well, the decrease is if I subtract 100 minus 97.75, I'll get 2.25. Well, the base price was taken as 100, so I can say that there is a decrease in the price by 2.25%. So that's our answer, option C. A number is decreased by 10% and then increased by 10%. The number so obtained is 10 less than the original number. What was the original number? Well, let us consider this original number as x. And it is said that this number is decreased by 10%. So I can write the decreased number is equal to 100 minus 10% of x. So 100 minus 10% of x. Now this value that we get after decreasing the number by 10% is increased by 10%. So I can write to get the final value after increasing, I can write it as 100 plus 10 percent of the value that we get. So this is equal to the number so obtained is 10 less than the original number. So the original number minus 10. Now we can solve this. This has become quite easy. 100 plus 10 percent is 110 percent means 110 by 100 times 90 by 100 times x is equals to x minus 10. 
these zeros get cancelled out we have is 99 x upon 100 is equals to x minus 10 so 10 is equals to x minus 99 upon 100 x therefore we have 10 is equals to x by 100 and therefore x is equals to 1000 so there we have the value of the original number which is 1000 Peter could save 10% of his income but two years later when his income is increased by 20% he could save the same amount only as before by how much percent has his expenditure increased well let us set up a table here we have income savings and expenditure now let us consider that the income of Peter is 100 just for the sake of simplicity and it is said that he could save 10% of his income so the savings are 10 which means that if the income is 100 and the savings are 10 it means that the expenditure is 90 income minus savings always give you expenses so expenditure is 90 next Peter's salary is increased after two years and it is increased by 20 percent so 100 will increase by 20 percent so it will be 120 now he could only save the same amount as before so the savings are again 10 so the expenditure will be equal to income minus savings which is 110 so it is it has been asked that by how much percent has his expenditure increased well I can write increase in expenditure as how much is the expenditure increased well the expenditure increased by 20 so we have 20 here and how much did it increase on the base value well the base value was 90 it increased by 20 on 90 so 20 on 90 times 100 will give you the percentage increase in expenditure so this is equivalent to I can cancel out the zeros this is 200 divided by 9 let us divide 200 by 9 9 twos are 18 again 2 this 0 comes down again 9 twos are 18 and 2 is the reminder so this is equivalent to 22 2 by 9 percent and there we have our answer option B.